Hello everybody, uh, today I want to show you something that I've made for a new game out on Wax. It's called Mining Network and uh, it's got a lot of us hooked. So um, yeah, it's, it's a really new game. It has a, a, a nice uh, concept to it that I'll show you in, in a bit. Um, but it's been lacking some features. Uh, one of the, the cool things about this game is that it doesn't restrict you in how much NFTs you can link to your account. So what happens is that people uh, link hundreds or even thousands of NFTs and it can be a real pain to manage because there's no filtering, there's no sorting that you can adjust. Um, so one of the things that I did was make a small uh, script that lets you add some of that filtering into the game. And people were asking how uh, to do that. <clears throat> I, I posted it to their Discord and to their Telegram and Somebody asked today, well, is there a video that can explain us how it works? Uh, so I figured, okay, let's promise that I'll make a video on it today. So that's this video. Um, so yeah, this is Mining Network. This game uh, mimics a bit how Bitcoin works. So if you look here, there's a uh, 0.45 BTK, that's the token of the game, is created every second. And that rate goes down at a certain date, like the Bitcoin halving. This one doesn't go down that much, but yeah, it, it has a lot of the same principles. Um, you can see an exchange rate here. What you can do is have uh, uh, special mining machines that generate mining shares, and you can convert them to the BTK token. So if I put in 1 million here, and let's go to the cell tab, let's put in 1 million you can see that you currently get 0.25 BTK for that. So you need about 4 million to get one BTK. So how do you get shares? You have mining machines, and this is a whole list of mining machines. As you can see, it's, uh, it's quite a list. So let's say there's some uh, level 114 miners, and you have three of them. Just try to find them. What you can do is just search for it, but it becomes a real pain. So what I did is create a custom script. Uh, what I did was hit the F12 key, key or Control Shift and I, and it will bring up the developer tools. So if you then go to the console tab and you enter the script that I wrote, and that's available in the Telegram, and I will put it in the description of the, the video, but the Telegram is always the place that if I change something uh, where you can get the latest version, so if I execute this now, and I can close this again, you see that the top row has a lot of buttons added to it. So you have a 100 with 471 here. This means uh, of the uh, 100 level, because all these have levels to them. Let me show you a simple one. This is the, the free miner that the game started with. I'll tell you more about that later. Uh, and it can go to level 100 to increase its efficiency. So I have 471 of them. <laughs> um, I only have one that's level 104. So this is a higher rarity. This is the common one and all the higher rarities, common, rare, epic and legendary can go up to level 200. Um, so you can see here how much uh, miners you have on the given level. Um, so there you can see and, and more easily manage it. So these that are stuck on level 100, they can't go past level 100 because they're, they're of a type that only upgrades to level 100. So it becomes a lot easier to manage your miners when you can just filter them to their specific level. Uh, and each level has its own associated cost. So usually you want to go to the lowest and make sure that you uh, level them up, right? Um, so yeah, this is something that was, that was really useful because um, we, when you look at here, uh, there's actually of the other type mixed in with these free ones, so it can be really hard to find those. Even at scanning, I probably blew by them. Right, here is one, like the, the level 149 one, it's stuck in between all those level 100 frees, uh, so it's, it becomes near impossible to find this. So having this filter here just lets you quickly change that. Um, the only downside to this is every time you reload the page, so you do a full reload, you will have to execute that script again. So I have to go back in here and, uh, and add this. But yeah, that's a temporary, temporary workaround until they add something like this to their, the game themselves. Um, there's some other metrics here that you can see that might be interesting. 
um, because this is like the, the generation of the, the shares. And let me pull up this one. You can see it generates 15.98, so close to 16 shares per second. That's what this notation is here. So this single miner generates 16 shares per second, right? And we've seen that you need 4 million for one BTK. Um, there's actually a use case for BTK that's, that you can buy packs with it. I bought a pack uh, before recording this video. I'll open it in a bit. So every half an hour you can use 25 BTK. Uh, so that's 100 million shares right now, I think, to get that. Um, you can buy a pack that has a single miner and it will have everything from like a common, a rare, an epic or a legendary rarity. The free one you can get from packs. They were given out when you created an account. Um, so we can actually open this pack right now. Let's see what we get. I love opening packs. <laughs> Ah, a common, that's not the one you want, but it's it's better than all the free ones. So this is like the, the lowest rarity that you can get. And the higher the rarity, the more that they will actually uh, generate for you. So once you get that, you stake it. Let me approve that. And now it becomes, uh, it starts to mine. So what you can see in the bottom right here is that uh, first you see the total network rate. So the M is for mega. So uh, you have kilo here, that is, that's a thousand, mega is a million, um, so there's 5.5 million shares generated per second around the entire network. Uh, my account generates nearly 4,000 shares per second. Um, to upgrade miners, you also need shares, that's what it sh says here, right? Price, two shares, and I don't have a, a sufficient balance. So this gener generates 0.1 share per second. And if I upgrade, it, it gets a 5% increase, right? So there's uh, four shares collected right now from the mining since it started. And it will start mining from the moment that you start. It will keep uh, building up shares until you claim it that with the get reward button. And you can do that for all of them at the same time. So when you start out new, you're in this situation where your balance is zero shares. And you can't do anything. So what you then do is click get reward. It will then reset this and give you a balance of the shares that it collected. And it didn't refresh properly. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Um, so what I can do is just collect all of them. So I will get a big number here if all is correct. Yeah. So you can see I have about um, yeah nearly six million shares. So now I can. Uh, do upgrade as a single level and multi-grade means that you upgrade more levels at a time and unlike many other games there is no penalty here for for upgrading so what you can do is uh, what i usually do is bring it up to level 99 uh, or, or just above uh, and that's because steps of five are more pricey than than the other steps um, and they take a bit longer but you can see here level one if i do it it takes 18 seconds um, and they, they all just add up and uh, how this works is that it will just add up all the times and cost associated and there's no penalty for doing more than one level at the same time so if you can't afford it it's wise to just go up to like a very high number um, the only downside is if I do this now for 37 and a half hours it will produce zero shares and after that it will start producing uh, 54 shares at a second so um, while this is the most efficient, it's not fun when it takes a day and a half before it even does something. But since I have a lot of miners, I don't really care. So I can do this now and in a day and a half it will start adding uh, 54 shares per second. So going back to this bottom right, there's, there's a lot of information here that, that's really uh, important to know. So you have the total network hash rate. This is like all the people combined. So it's good to know what other people are doing and how much uh, how you compare to that. Um, this is your this is your own hash rate, um, but this isn't really act, uh, act, uh, how do I call it um, accurate, right? I couldn't think of the word. This isn't really accurate because this is how uh, it would be if none of your miners were upgrading, right? Because like I said before, um, once you hit the upgrade button while it's upgrading, it produces nothing. 
So it says mining power 55 here, but the actual power is a zero at this time until this upgrade is complete. Um, so one of the things that I did before I built this filter script was create a bot in my telegram that lets you get some information about your miners. So in this case, my account has 481, and if I refresh this, it will have 482 because we just added one. And you can see here some statistics, the same as the filter shown right here, right? You can see all the levels. You can see the quantity for each level. Busy means that it's upgrading and available means that it's, uh, it's not upgrading. For these, they can't upgrade past that. And for these, they can all upgrade until they hit level 200. Um, it also displays how long it's been since the last time you claimed, because there's no way you can really tell that inside the game. And it tallies up all the shares that you will get if you would claim right now. Um, it also adds in how much BTK that would be worth if you'd also swap it right away. Uh, and that's due to the, like the, the share rate that it has in the exchange. I'll get back to that in a bit. Um, so the cool bit here is that you'll see power. It's close to four, but the actual mining rate is 3.5, give or take, just below 3.5. And that is because like uh, 500 shares per second is not getting generated because those assets are upgrading. So it's really nice to be able to see what the impact is of all the upgrades that are going on right here. Uh, and lastly, there's another summary like here are all the ones that are maxed out. In this case, only the free ones for me. Uh, there are five that are currently upgrading and five others are ready to be upgraded. So I can execute that command again and you will see the the common that we just got is added here, and now there are six that are actively upgrading. Um, so yeah, I think that's really cool. Um, you can also query like the exchange rate per million, um, and, uh, and filter. Uh, that's the command to get the code that I just based it in. So those are the basic things that my bot offers right now. Um, the game has a leaderboard, so you can see who is generating the most uh, hash rate. As you can see, I'm not even in the top 100. Uh, but yeah, I'll try to, to get there someday. Um, back to the exchange. One other cool thing is, um, as you need the shares to either get BTK to buy miners or to exchange them on Alcor, uh, they trade between 2 and 4 wax usually, which is pretty nice. Um, you can also trade your BTK back to shares if you need a lot of shares to upgrade your miners. Because um, the higher level they get, it's like an exponential algorithm. Uh, the, the higher the level gets, the more shares it takes to, to upgrade them. So maybe you're sitting on a pile of BTK and you're like, okay, I really want to max out or, or do a big upgrade for a miner. Then you can swap your shares, uh, your BTK back to shares. So if I put in one BTK here, uh, oh no, it's an amount of shares that you want to buy. So you can put in like uh, 10 million and, and it will cost you 2.5 BTK at this time. Okay, so to summarize, if you want the filtering here, uh, you need the code that I'll put in the video or you can find it in my Telegram. Um, you need to bring up the developer tool, so it's Ctrl Shift I or F12 in most browsers. And then you paste in the code here and you execute it. And then you get these buttons that let you easily filter the code. So yeah, um, one other thing that I might need to tell you is that the collection is currently no longer whitelisted on Atomic Hub. Uh, there was a bit of a snafu with this partner screen. They had listed, they call it partners here and they had Atomic Hub here. And Atomic Hub pre uh, prevents that because just because you're whitelist, it doesn't mean that you're a partner uh, and they uh, they pull that status and it's still pending. So if you want to find their NFTs on Atomic Hub, you have to uh, uncheck show whitelisted NFTs only. So that's uh, that's something you have to keep in mind. So yeah, uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this game because there's, there's like a big rush to try and get to the top and like balance uh, upgrading your miners versus maybe swapping it out for some wax or yeah, scar, uh, scarring the, the secondary market to find deals on, on cheap ASICs. Uh, so yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this, but as always, like, be careful. Uh, the team is not KYC'd as far as I know, so um, it, it's always a bit of a risk, but yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this game so far, and 
I'm curious to see where it goes because they have a lot more stuff planned. And I really like the, the way this looks. It's very minimal, it loads pretty fast, you have like a Windows 95 system. Uh, a top tip, if you have this, go to settings and uncheck show notifications because normally after every action you get like a pop-up confirming that stuff. Uh, it gets really annoying, so you, you might want to remove that and that setting is under uh, settings. So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoy all the stuff that I make uh, and I hope that they add like proper filtering and sorting to the game soon. Uh, come hang out on, uh, on Telegram, say hi and uh, find all the code there. Bye bye!